Well, this is a very special interview. It's not very often you get to sit down and interview Janis Joplin. Well, <laughs> let's say she's channeling Janis Joplin. We have the lovely and talented Mary Bridget Davies here playing in this incredible show called A Night with Janis Joplin. Yes. And wow, you will get to hear her and you are amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. So tell us about this incredible journey that you're on. How did you get the role and a little bit about your background? Well, initially in 2011, the show was mounted at Portland Center Stage. And I was approached to do it, but I was writing my own album, so I passed. And then I regretted that immediately because I was like, gosh, when is there ever going to be an opportunity again to do the show? But lightning struck twice, and a year and a half later, the casting audition came up for New York City, and I went in and auditioned, and uh, then I got in on it. Uh, yeah. Was there a moment uh, for you, Mary Bridget, that you knew you had the role, or was it always like, oh? Oh, no, I knew. <laughs> I knew, I knew, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just, it's just, there's just um, kind of an intangible authenticity that was Janice, and, and I don't know, I just I share that with her in a kindred spirit kind of way, and that's something that you can't learn as an actor. That's yeah. just, either it's there or it's not, and I was like, that helped to be that extra, you know, get me over the hump faster and secure the gig for me, for sure, <laughs> yeah. What was it about Janice that, I guess, attracted you or you felt a kind of connection with her? Well, when you're young and it's, you're raised with manners and, you know, don't cry, to pinch your cheeks, take two deep breaths, she'll be fine and, you know, be polite and everything else. She wasn't polite. She was very emotionally raw and open and visceral and it's what everybody wants to be and everybody, wa like if you could just, with no filter, no judgment, just throw your emotions out there the way that you are feeling them at the time. Mm -hmm. And that's what she did and I was just, I just fell in love with that. Okay, so now we get into the production, the story. It's also about the women that influenced Janice too in Correct. her career. Yes. yes. So we, it's not just a Janis Joplin concert. No. You know, I am the narrator of the evening. I take you through uh, the women like Nina Simone and Odetta, Aretha Franklin, Etta James, and Bessie Smith, and they have their own feature performances, and then Janice because many of those songs, many of those women, she'd covered a song of theirs. Mm -hmm. So then it'll morph into either the Big Brother and the Holding Company version or Full Tilt Boogie or whatnot. So it's, it's great to see the evolution and how she paid tribute to these women that came before her. And the relationship that you create too on stage with these women, it, it must be incredible because not only are you singing, but you're acting and you're yeah. playing off each other. And, and no one is a slouch. <laughs> <laughs> Not one slouch in the bunch as far as the women who are portraying the, you know, the artists and the artists that they are portraying. Every one of these women was so powerful and so iconic and so important. And we all get along like off stage and it just helps the, the show in its entirety. Like we're just, we're really, we're getting it in. We're doing good. An amazing tour and we are so happy to have the show here in Winnipeg for a full week. Yeah. And I guess what you've learned, you know, Career-wise and personally, being on a tour like this and playing this person, Janis Joplin, every night. It's just, uh, there was, um, oh, I forget the what quote of what, there's a lot of things in the show that I say that I, they are my lines, but I'm speaking the truth. Like, it, 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 yeah. it comes from very, because I was a musician, I am also a musician. Mm -hmm. So the touring and being on the bus and being away from your loved ones and living in a bubble and, and it's all guys, and you're like the only girl. I'm so grateful that we have other women in the show now, because usually it's just you with a bunch of guys in a van, and you're yeah. just like, oh my, you just open a window or something. And you know, but it's it's a hard life, as far as just kind of where it puts you in an emotional state, because you don't, you can't do personally. I can't do anything else. I'm a performer. That's what I do. So I can't just sit at home and punch a clock from nine to five, but then that takes me away from my nieces and nephews and my parents and you know, everybody and my you know, significant others and you know, and then, but, but then you get on stage every night and you do it. And Janice had that struggle and trying to do that balance too. So it's just kind of a, it's a living, it's a living show. We're all going through what we're going through on stage at the same time. If Janice were here today, what kind of person would she be, Mary Bridget? What, where would her music be? 
Oh, she oh she would be like uh, how Mavis Staples is now, I believe. I think she would have probably taken a little time off, did whatever, and then came back and said, I can't okay, I can't do it. I can't not perform. And because she was such a social I mean, with the, the counterculture in San Francisco and everything else, I mean, there, the phone would never stop ringing for her to be like a speaker somewhere or anything, but I truly believe that she would go back to being a, a blues artist. You know, and, and if people were like, oh, do you piece of my heart, she'd laugh at them and say, yeah, 40 years ago maybe, but you know. And, and I, I just think that she'd be a humble, wonderful, awesome blues singer. Yes, well, yeah. we are so delighted that you have made Winnipeg a stop for the show. Absolutely. And uh, all the best. Thank you. Yes, so now we are going to leave you with the incredible voice of Mary Bridget Davies, accompanied with her guitar player, Derek. Busted flat in Ben Rouge, waiting for a train. This feeling near as faded as my jeans. Bobby thumbed a diesel down just before rain and rode us all the way into New Orleans. I pulled in my art room out my dirty red bandana. And I was playing soft while Bobby sang the blues. Yeah, windshield wiper slapping time. I was holding Bobby's hand in my and we sang every song that driver knew. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Nothing, don't mean nothing on a fit ain't free. And a feeling good will seize along when it sang the blues. You know, feeling good was good enough for me. Good enough for me and my Bobby McGee. All right. <laughs> From the Kentucky coal mine until the California sun, oh, and Bobby shared the secrets of my soul. Through all kind of weather and through everything that we've done, my Bobby, baby, he kept me from the cold world. Selena's long, you know I let him slip away. He's looking for that home, hope he finds it. But I trade all of my tomorrows for one single yesterday to be holding Bobby's body next to mine. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose, and nothing is off that Bobby left me. And it feeling good was easy, Lord, when I sang the blues. Feeling good was good enough for me. Yeah, good enough for me and my Bobby McGee. Yeah. La da da, la da da da, la da 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 da. La da 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 da, I'm Bobby McGee. La da 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 la la. La da 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 da, la da 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 da, Bobby McGee. <laughs> Special thanks to Mary Bridget Davies and Adam Brooks, as well as performances by Federal Lights and Marco Castillo. We'll leave you now with a little tease of what's to come on Backstage 360 with Nafro Dance.